Welcome to the Hypergeometric Distribution Calculator for MathCelebrity.com. So you type Hypergeometric Distribution and we jump to our lesson. There's four inputs on this lesson. There's total items, which is known as large n, number selected, which is known as small n, your target pick, which is k, and the number selected, which is x. So when you're set with your inputs, you press p of x equal to k. And the first line summarizes what you're calculating. Calculating the probability that if you choose six items out of 24 with a success count of four, you will get zero items of your target successes. So here's the hypergeometric distribution formula. And so what the calculator does, it goes through all the inputs. So k factorial, x factorial, k choose x, which is 4 choose 0. And we go through each piece, x minus k factorial, n minus k choose n minus x, and all the related pieces to that. Your denominator piece. Probabilities. So this is your probability. 0 0.288. That, that scenario we identified in line 1 actually happens. Now we add a couple bonus items on this lesson. We show you how to calculate the mean. In this case it's 1. And then the variance. And then the standard deviation. So let's go ahead and run one more problem. Let's change this to 10, change this to 5, 3, and 1, and run that scenario. So we choose 5 items out of 10 where we can, there's 3 of the success items that we're looking for. What's the probability we get 1, exactly 1? So again, we run through all our factorials and formulas. Numerator piece, denominator piece, additional factorials, and finally our probability. So 0 0.4167. Our mean in this case, 1.5. Variance, 0 0.5833. And our standard deviation, just the square root of that. That's pretty much it. We've also got a generate practice problem button. You press that. It comes up with a completely random scenario for you to practice your skills with. Press it again. And as you can see, our numbers all changed. We've also got a quiz generator for the hypergeometric distribution, which will time and score you. If you've got questions how to use that, please use the video link under this folder. And if you've got any questions about this lesson or the site, please use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.